Hey there guys, it's been a long time since I've recorded anything on this account. To catch you up with what I've been doing since my last recorded clip, which I believe was me attempting to do a hard clue, I could be entirely wrong with that, but I've been doing a lot of collecting resources. This was before my membership ran out and this has been afterwards. But yeah, I want to get back into this because I do, I do enjoy playing Iron Man mode, like from what I've done of it so far it's been quite fun. And I feel like my account's got decently far for the amount of time I put into it, apart from all the time that I spent at freaking ham members. Another one! I found another one! <laughs> I've seen two. I haven't played this game on this account very much. <laughs> Just, please. Why? Oh yeah, I'm doing Nature Spirit by the way. Okay, that kind of snuck up on me. It didn't bring up the screen to say that I completed the quest, but there we go, there is Nature Spirit completed. 36 crafting, 47 hit points, and 55 combat. So, let's go start Fairy Patel Part 1, I suppose. Yay, questing. Alright, so I'm doing Fairy Tale Part 1, and the Godfather is now here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go check the bank, grab my clue, and see if I can actually... Sorry about my voice, to see if I can actually complete this step without having to finish the quest. I'm obviously still going to finish the quest just so I get access to the fairy rings. But, uh, you know, it'd be nice to uh, nice to uh, get the next step in this clue. I don't know how many steps I've done. So I don't know. <laughs> it's still very like unlikely that I'll get it done, but hey, you never know. Alright, so that's this step completed. What's the next step going to be? Okay, I, I can actually do that. Oh wait, hang on. No, you get attacked by the thing, don't you? I'd rather not do that before I have Prey Mage, which is a while away. You never know. Oh, rip this dude. Hang on. So if they're not attacking, I can attack the chicken, right? Well, <laughs> run, run. <laughs> That's not even that funny. Okay, this time I'm pretty sure this is when I get the list of items that I need. Ask for help finding a tangle foot. Magic sectors. Bunch of grapes, uncut ruby, and yoga bones. Um right, hang on, let me think about this. Grapes, easy peasy. Uh right, hang on, where's F in the alphabet? Yeah. Grapes, easy. Uncut ruby. I think I've actually cut all my rubies. But that shouldn't be too difficult. Joga bones. I can't remember which one of the jogas. If I'm honest, I'll have to look it up. I will come back in a second, I suppose. Okay, I'm going to try and keep you updated on this. First of all, grapes are here. Secondly of all, uncut ruby. Um, my plan is to crack saves in the rogue's den. I'm pretty sure that won't take too long and will get me a ruby eventually. Um, while I'm there, I'm actually also going to cook these fish that I have. I don't have many of them, but you know, I might as well. Um, and Joga Bones. I believe there is a cage Joga in the Ardoin Zoo, and I think I can kill that and then just telegram the bones. So, I think I've got not too hard things at all here. I'm very okay, I'm very okay with this. So, yeah, let's go do all that. Alright, just while cooking some of these trout that while I'm here, i got myself a cooking level. I can now cook bass. Wonderful. And there is a second level and literally my last fish, so that's not too bad at all. I just checked my the stats. I actually have the exact level I need to be able to crack these. So I can crack them to try and get myself a ruby, but I'm probably going to fail a bunch of times and it may take a while. So let's see how long this takes. It is 10.36 right now. And there we go, there is the ruby. Uh, I believe I said it was 10.36 when I started doing this, which means that this took me four minutes. Um, it really wasn't that bad at all. I wasn't expecting it to be, but hey, it is nice to know that the game was considering being nice to me for once. It doesn't happen very often. All right, this genuinely probably took longer than getting the ruby. Like, I decided for some reason to bring air strike instead of fire strike, so my max hit is literally two. It is. It has taken me so long. I. <laughs> it's so close. Come on, you can do this. I believe in you. This is like this is. 
Like, I realise some people, like, one of my friends got uncut diamond as one of the things he needed. So, this is by no way, like, as bad as what he got, but... God damn. There's the yoga bones. Let's not get the rogue's purse, please. I did click yoga, but yes. Alright. Let's go take these to the nature spirit then, I guess. Alright, so, from what I remember, dealing damage to this thing is based off your farming level, and I'm farming level 1. So this may take a while, right? I am I am starting this at 2 minutes past 12. Yes, this is the next day. Alright, here we go. It didn't take nearly as long as I expected it to. Take me about 10 minutes. If all this body is to be believed, it's on 4 HP. So it should only be 2 more successful hits on it. Um, but yeah. Uh, this, this wasn't that bad. It's pretty easy to do this, except as you can probably tell by the fact I've eaten a salmon and my have about half HP. I did manage to mess it up a couple times and get hit. Oh, come on. Don't just hit zeros now. There we go. It's finally killed. We've got our Queen Secateurs. Now we just need to run back to the Godfather and give him the Secateurs, I believe? I'm pretty sure that's what I need to do. Um, but yeah, there we go. That is this quest completed. I'm gonna go get myself fairy rings, and then I think I'm going to do something else. Don't know if I'm gonna continue uh, questing or not. I guess we'll find out, I suppose. Yeah, there we go, finished it. Okay, I'm pretty sure I've got far enough into the quest that I can now use fairy rings. So let's try. Okay, so I just managed to select two that would just take me straight back to Zenaris, of course. But hey, there we go, fairy rings are now working. I don't know what my next goal is, but that's a pretty big one. Alright, um, I've come up with at least a short-term goal. Stop messaging me on Steam, holy shit. But yeah, I've come up with a short-term goal, and that is because this is my current best gear. Um, I do have 40 defense, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend some time looking into different ways of getting rune armor. Because, obviously, that being the best that I can wear with 40 defense, that will be, that's what I want. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to find different ways of getting helmets, chest plates, legs. Who is messaging me? <laughs> but, but yeah, and then also doing as much RFD as I can at the moment. Um, also, by, look, by a quick look, the best ring I can get that actually gives me any bonuses that aren't, like, boss rewards is the beacon ring. So I'm going to see how far into what lies below I can get to see if I can get that. Because I might as well get it, because it'll be better than nothing. Because otherwise, this lot is just going to remain empty. But yeah, so I will come back to you once i figured out what I'm going to do. Alright. 100% honesty with you guys, this was literally the first kill. So, uh, let's... Like, I can't believe that this was the first kill. But there we go, that is the rune full helm that we have gained onto our account now. So I think I'm gonna move down the account and see if there's any way that I can get a rune plate body other than hard clues. Hard clue is the only way that comes to mind, but you never know, them. there might just be a way that I don't know about. So I will come back to you again once I found that out. All right, so after a quick check on the wiki, I can only get rune plate bodies after doing uh, Dragon Slayer, and if I, unless I want to buy them for like 85k, I need to kill a boss for them, which I'm not going to do. But what I do know is that I can get rune chain bodies from Black Demons, which I think are in here somewhere. I, I, I wouldn't be able to tell you where, but I think they're in the Brimhaven dungeon somewhere. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm now going to move over to Black Demons and see if I can get myself a rune chain body. Because even that will be a whole lot better than an initiate, like... I don't even know what they're called. It's, it's not Plate Body, it's got a fancy name for it for some reason. But yeah, let's go do that now. Alright, I actually just gained a magic level while killing this thing. This is my first one, so uh, let's see. Am I going to get the chain on the first kill here as well? Alright, I tried to record a clip of this quite a few times, but I was just unable to say it eloquently, so I'm doing it post or during the editing. Essentially, uh, if I don't get a, a, uh, a rune chainmail from the black demons, I'm going to go buy myself some legs and then start working on Dragon Slayer to get myself a rune plate body. But as you'll see 
later in the video I do actually come up with a slightly different idea that I might be able to do so when we get to that I will come back again and I'll tell you what's what. This isn't a very important thing to record but I've I've never seen a red dragon before like genuinely <laughs> I didn't know they were here oh my god I knew that there was red dragon hide but I'd... what the hell Oh, I must sound like such a noob. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Here we are at Scavo. At Scavo. And buy myself a plate skirt or a plate legs. I was looking at the stats. And this is com completely statistical before people start saying that it's just because I want to have a skirt. I'm going to get the plate skirt because it has the same defensive stats but it is one kilogram lighter and therefore will drain my run energy slower. So, boom, there we go. There is the plate skirt. Let's go get a dragon sled done. Actually, hang on. What does this lady have? The lane. Ooh. 21k. I might just get the addy, her addy plate body and then get myself a fighter torso. I don't know. I, I think we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. I kind of glossed over it in that last clip, but essentially what my idea was, was instead of getting the rune plate body specifically... What I could do is just buy that adamant plate body for a quarter, for yeah, a quarter of the price of a rune plate body, and then just use that along with some other gear that I can get my hands on to get myself the fighter torso, which I'm going to need to get anyway. And in fairness, I could probably use it in place of a rune plate body for quite a long time. So I'm going to end the video here. I have a few more clips, but they're not really important, and they're just kind of a bit hodgepodge. So. What I'm going to say is, you guys who watch this video, the whole like two of you that are, when one of them is me, what I'd like you to do is tell me, should I do Dragon Slayer and get the Rune Plate Body, or should I buy that Adamant Plate Body and get myself a Fighter Torso? It is entirely up to you, I don't mind which. Um, but yeah, that's the end of the video here. And I'd like to say, in my uh, last video, I said that I'd be uploading this within a week. I'm actually rendering this video the day after I, up I uh, uploaded that video. So, within a week is going to be nice and easy to do. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much.